<sighs> I'm glad to be done with that. Yeah. Anyways. Oh, you are actually lucky you didn't break something, you know? Oh, right. oh Blade, break something. Yes. Flex Seal. I think we can finally convince Shad it's time. It is. For Flex Seal. Shad of Greetings, I am Tyrant, and today we have a very, very fun video. Uh, Flex Seal, yes. Uh, okay, a couple of things, Tyrant. Oh, yes. What is Flex Seal? Oh, okay. Oh, you're going to like this. Okay. okay, okay. Flex Seal is a uh, liquid uh, rubber coating that we can put um, on anything. Uh -huh. right? at, least, at least that's what they say on TV. And TV <laughs> never lies, right? Okay, so Tyrant actually pitched this to me a little while back, and I didn't, I, I had never heard of it. Yes. But then I looked into it and found out there's a whole internet meme around this. I know, he's very boomer in that This regard. was, uh, like, usually I'm up to date on memes, not this one. And it's got a, I don't know, they built up a reputation. A it can following. fix, fix stuff, and it's yeah. so strong. So I thought, why not actually test its application? Mm -hmm. Now, we have one of our shields here is completely coated in Flex Seal. And I just want to mention, this stuff stinks. Does it? Like, no joke, stinks. <laughs> uh, but we have one completely coated here in liquid rubber. Liquid it's rubber. Completely dry. Oh, yep, yep. And then we have just a normal plywood, ready to go, ready to be destroyed. Tis but a scratch. Adding some historical, you know, um, context here, right? When they would make shields historically, they would rarely be just raw wood. They would be planks of wood, okay? And depending on the types that they uh, had available, but they would put an over top coating on it. Usually it would be rawhide. And rawhide wood is actually surprisingly durable when dried. When it dries, it pulls everything in, so it helps hold it together, but it's also really flexible. And so I'm actually quite interested to see what additional strength this rubber flex seal that adds to the wooden base. I don't think there will be any additional strength. I don't think there really? will, but that's not where the punch is for this. Mm -hmm. I was thinking once we've destroyed it, let's repair it with Flex Seal. All right, <laughs> let's see how well it holds together. Yeah, see together. how well it holds together. <laughs> That'll be great. Well, I'm holding my bow for a, a reason here. We're gonna be shooting it, compare the difference, but then we're also gonna be hitting it with swords. Yes, are the, are the, are the all weapons. All weapons. All medieval weapons. Can you tell I'm excited? <laughs> <laughs> let's get into it. So we're starting with the war bow. Don't let your eyes deceive you. Even though this is a small bow, I've got dedicated videos on it. 110 pound war bow. Yeah, that, that's the one I used in the arrow video. Check that one out. It's, it's a good fun. We're testing uh, if you can shoot uh, arrows with messages tied to them. So let's see the difference. All right, going for the wooden one to begin with. All right, now I'll ping the black and we'll see the damage. Let's check this out. Have a look at the penetration. Oh gosh, it's a, uh, it, it, that felt like pretty decent penetration. Now let's look at the flex seal and see what we did. Ready? Less penetration. Interesting. Uh, have a look and see why. Oh yeah, I'm uh, kind of rubbing up against there. That could have impacted it a bit. Something to mention. Yes. They sounded very different from one another. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't miss that. I wasn't really? paying attention. That one was far, far louder. The acoustics on that were oh. very different. Hopefully the camera or mic picked it up. It oh. definitely sounded different. Awesome. Well, Tyrant the Nath, guess what? What? You summoned? You, you got to get the arrows out. Oh. <laughs> it's going to be a dog. <laughs> Bye. How you going? <laughs> I'm not sure they're going to come out, guys. <laughs> So, there is a slight problem. This is twisting, the arrowhead isn't. Oh, interesting. Here you go, Tyranth. Yes. I have learnt my lessons. <laughs> Not bad, it was scented. Yeah. A little high. That was better shooting this time. I have a feeling the uh, penetration is going to be somewhat hindered by the fact you hit the wooden plank behind. But will you not admit that that, that skill level I just exhibited? Cent center? Yeah. yeah that yeah. I just exhibited good, good was better than last time. Well, and we I weren't really aiming at targets last time. Right, but I haven't really practiced since. But every yeah. time it kept falling off, I kept fumbling and it was just... Yeah, yeah that's true. Yeah. And uh, you weren't pulling as far back this time though, but you were right. focusing on aiming versus yes. draw. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's try flex you. Uh, let's do it. So try and just match the draw of your last one, which was to your cheek. A bit, yeah, about there. Nice. You heard it that time? Though, I think we're hitting the plank, the wood behind now, which is gonna 
impact the results. Right. We know we did it on the first one. Yeah, look at that. It, did you hit the wood on that one? It glanced a little bit. Glanced a little bit. So I'm not sure we can take these as... But that one doesn't have any. Or, or no, you knocked, knocked, a, it, off. You knocked yeah. it out. Dead center, I know. Oh, I literally have not fired. Literally. You literally. Yeah. <laughs> haven't fired one of these in over a decade. So prepare for epic fail. A little high. But yeah. centered though. I got the road. <laughs> you went a little high. <laughs> Let's try that again. That counts. Nearly got the rope again. I almost, but it still counts. It hit the shield. Hey, nice and centered. Nice and centered. It was still a bit wobbly. I'm not an archer. So if we look here, it did penetrate a little bit more than this one. So have a look at the front. So that one penetrated more, but there's more head mm. exposed here. And look, it barely, it's barely peeking through. Barely come through. So the flex, oh, look, the that, flex seal is consistently giving more resistance. That one might just be variance in draw. Yeah. Poundage, maybe, how much he was putting yeah, into we'll, each we'll one. We'll need to do more to see what the uh, kind might of let, average might let the expert with the bows go for that. <laughs> well, you, you, you included me in that. I, I, saw, say, I saw your hands well, go was, to me I as well. I was about to say Expert. experts and then experts. I realized what I was about to say. <laughs> we <got a> ladder. <laughs> All righty, four in that, we'll do four in the black. Hey. And there we go. Uh, let's uh, take a look at penetration. I'm looking at the arrowheads. These ones, gosh, it's really stuck onto the back here. So if we, uh, this is the penetration that we got on the wood. And then compared to the flex seal, we got pretty definitive difference. So the flex seal is definitely adding more protection than not. But this is for arrows. Let's see about swords. Now we're up to the sword cutting portion of the test and we have Nate joining us for this one and you are sporting the sexy cold steel Kriegsmesser. Kriegsmesser. And, uh, and Tyrant has uh, the Baylor Arms Alexandria sword. I have a feeling the Kriegsmesser has high potential to be its beastly cutter and this one had interesting things about the sharpness that we're running into, but mostly this is actually gonna be a comparison. So it doesn't matter too much uh, about the sharpness of sword, it's the comparison. And if we're using the same swords between the two things, mm -hmm. it'll be fine. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I might use a katana for the next one. I mean, uh, now we've got to use the same sword. Oh, but then I also want to use the katana then. So Do you want to go get the, you can go get the katana now. It's so hard, they're, so, they're, they're, so, they're both good swords, it's hard right. to pick. I'll use the katana. Go get the katana. It's technically an O katana or Tashi. I made a whole video on like the O katana, Tashi dichotomy. And the katana gets so, it's, much more appreciation should be to the Tashi and Okatan. Which think? makes sense, it's a war sword. Exactly. It's, that was a sword more, the samurai used in actual warfare more often than, uh, than the Katana. But everyone's like, the Katana! It's like, uh, it's modern so do you want to show off the uh, Okatana here? Ooh. Sword ASMR. <laughs> 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 All right, so let's have a look at how well this goes. And Nate, we'll start with you. Okay. Oh, that's what we were looking for. Tyrant. All right, so how do you want me to hit this? Straight down, preferably an area that hasn't already been struck, closer to the, you know what, I, I, predictions, predictions. I have a feeling the Okatana here might have a bit more difficulty than the Kriegsmesser for one important reason. The Okatana is thicker at the striking end um, and it has to wedge apart more material than the Kriegsmesser, this usually wouldn't be too much of an issue when you're cutting into flesh, but because this is solid wood, there's a high chance the wood is going to wedge it and prevent it getting deeper. Right. Mm. We'll see. Or not. <laughs> I feel like I want another shot now. All right, all right. I just want to get for training against people all the time. I'm too cautious. No. No. Not bad though, yeah, it, it no, curved a we bit. Still, we still have we still have a definitive winner. I mean, it was good. It was a good try. It really was. <sighs> hey, just stay there a second. <laughs> I'm feeling left out. <laughs> and it's already damaged, but let's see what happens. Ready? Ah! Uh, no, no, that's actually equ equal you. But I think I hit the same area that Nate did. So I need to go again. 
I'm gonna try and get closer in this time. Ready? That just crossed and sliced off him to chunk. <laughs> okay, now we're moving up to the flex seal. And any predictions? You reckon this will be uniquely more resistant or just a little bit? I or not at all? I think it might grab in with the rubber. It mm -hmm. might do a nice clean cut, but then once it starts to actually get down into the meat of it, the rubber is going to kill a lot of that momentum. Mm. I am that's, interested. Yeah. That's kind of just what I'm thinking. I'm thinking the same thing because when you were shooting, when we were shooting the arrows at it, there was a definite difference mm. in sound. And this time, separate to the, um, you know, vertical cuts, I want us to try and do a flat cut to see if we can slice through the rubber and dig into the wood. Okay. Okay, so we'll, we'll find out. Oh, not bad. There's less splitting on this one. There is. And there's some rubber marked on the sword as well. We'll need to buff out. That's actually a out. tougher to get out to. It's a cleaner cut. Yeah. Away. It's a cleaner cut. Interesting. That doesn't look as deep as your main cut on the wood one. It didn't, but I also did about 46. I heard a, a sharp inhale before he struck. No, I think that was definitely 47 and not 46. 47 and a half. 47 and a half, absolutely. There is a little bit of difference here because the rubber is keeping it together. It's Interesting. keeping the damage from spreading and splintering and Crack or crack I, I am seeing that because that bit of that middle bit of wood wants to fall out, but it's the flex seal holding it on at all. It and feels like and it. like you said, and like I don't know who said, like somebody said before, it is keeping the cuts very clean. Interesting. <sighs> About the same as yours there, mate. Um, interesting. Interesting. That that wants to fall off. Well, it's there still. It's it's holding it there. Interesting. I do not see too much of a difference, honestly, in the vertical cuts in terms of depth. We're getting about the same, though. Tyrant's one was cut short. He got deeper, much deeper. So that that's something. And the flex seal is holding it together. So we're seeing marginal improvements in resistance here. Uh, flat. Step back. Flat. Wow. Look at this. Flip. That's, that's not bad. Okay, Tyrant, you want to have a go? <laughs> You're, it's splintered along this entire line. Now that's a lot of damage. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you got through the flex seal on the yep. entire line. And so I don't think it's better than rawhide. I think you'd have trouble cutting through rawhide. Mm. Luckily, I have a shield just here though. And we are able to compare some of the top damage. And as you can see- There's, I'll... A, there's a distinct difference. Yeah, there is. Yeah. There's a marginal improvement. Yeah. Especially if you're in battle and all of a sudden your shield is starting to look like this. Uh, yeah. Even some of my initial shallower cuts, like just cleaner and deeper yeah. on these. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. That's, that is so much cleaner, so much cleaner. It's holding it together really well. So, young Tyrant here, he's actually a very strong guy. Oh, thank you. Yeah, no, no, this is very true. Last time he was, uh, he was asking, I was testing something. This was for before the um, jumping sword attack test. It was test. my first day. It was your first day. Oh, first day, you and you got me out in the sun. That's right, and, and, and Tyrant was like, do you want me to go 50% or 100%? And I was like, oh, I'll do 100%. And I got to see what his 100% was, and he broke the damn thing. Uh, well, I'm the one who had to make it, so, I mean, it's all, it's all good. <laughs> but now that we've done, you know, uh, the test, Tyrant was claiming that that was 50%. And so I'm expecting at least double force okay. on your 100% Tyrant. I, I am going to give a prediction. What? I think it, I think it will bust the screws. I think it will definitely bust the screws, but I have a feeling it's going to get to about here and attempt to pull sideways. And probably just, yeah, just rip apart. Jam. But we'll see how it goes. All right. Let's have a look at what Tyrant can do. Full power swing. My edge alignment was a bit off. Edge alignment was off. Because yeah. uh, that, that, that was, uh, that's, that's your edge alignment right there. <laughs> and the screw busted. I mean, I think my prediction was right. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I think you might have taken his arm along with his shield. Yes. <laughs> well, what would actually happen is a force would knock the arm off mm. thing. Like it wouldn't be braced so heavily. No. <laughs> so uh, observation that we have had with this is this flex seal. Show us the blade there. Oh, yeah. yeah well, look yeah. at the rubber that's rubbed. Mm. So you can see where it's gripping and actually like stopping the blade. Mm. Do you want a memento? There you go. Yeah, well, well, this isn't the end of the video. You that's see, right. this was only the testing portion. We oh. wanted to actually see how well the Flex Seal would do, but that isn't Flex Seal's claim. Mm -hmm. It's repairing things. So you're saying that Flex Seal can fix that? Oh, that is a lot of damage. Oh, uh, well, <laughs> we are going to give it a go. And uh, we'll find out. Yeah. So now that we've concluded our scientific method of testing, it's time to actually use the Flex Seal for its intended purpose, and that is to repair. We're going to try and repair our broken shield. Uh, we did quite a number on it yesterday, as you can see, and the back looks a little bit worse for wear. But I am confident that our Flex Seal will be able to repair all of this damage. We'll start off with the smaller holes where the arrows penetrated, then we'll move over to some of this larger damage and see what we can do, if anything. I've even still got a little piece of the shield, which I'm going to put back with the Flex Seal. So now that the Flex Seal has basically repaired all of the damage that we've done to it, I think we can go and show the boss and uh, maybe get into some more testing. There's some really interesting elements to compare between the two, so I'm going to do a more technical kind of breakdown of the differences, but also we want to test some cutting. We are ready with oh. the Flex Seal Shield. It's oh. completely dry, uh, ready yeah. to go, ready for more testing. It's holding together quite nicely. Like This, uh, this bit's a little bit, uh, I didn't actually spray some on the back, so this one, but up here, where... Is it, it's, it's hold, so this is a, a new a new batch I take it because it's got white, it's a white Flex Seal, uh, well, is it? We did a bit with the black mm -hmm. and then the black can run out because okay. we used all of it on making the shield. Mm -hmm. So then I used some white on top of that just mm -hmm. to... Well, it, can sh it shows where you've had to patch it up really exactly. well. Yeah, it does. Like, like, look at the arrow. This, this arrow hole is... Very cool. artistic. Completely filled in this arrow hole here. We've filled in a lot of these gashes because I just wanted to test on the front to see what type of, you know, mm -hmm. uh, rigidity we could get. And it's... It's holding together. I have a feeling it's not going to be stronger than just the wood holding it together and flex it over uh, top. It, it kind of looked like this. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. That's in, that's actually that's actually impressive. That's very okay. That's okay. The piece that uh, I reattached well, with the flex seal. There's only one way to find out. More yeah, testing, I guess. Oh well, yeah. Gonna we'll cut just... and see. Cut it. Attack it. Slash at it and see how well it holds together. Okay, I want to back. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, we'll go test this. <laughs> I only touched it. I was just lining up my shot. What just happened? It broke out of the screws. Good. Oh. That was tippy and I still got through to a decent point. Yeah, interesting. So this is where the flex seal was holding it. Yep. And it actually busted the flex seal apart. Cracked it. Yeah. Okay. So I'll, that's kind of what I predict. I, like it technically should not be as durable having actual cracks in it now. I mean, the flex seal is holding it together somewhat. I'm just not sure how v viable it would be to like just, I ah, can flex seal it and yeah, instead of you would rather want to go back and start it. But now the damage is just at the point where it was before, meaning you still got another shot out of it. True, true. Yeah. But then again, it's more if you combine the, the busted seam. Perhaps. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> you didn't hit where Flex Seal was, that's cheating. I know, it's like, you hit where the Flex Seal already was. Your edge alignment though, man, that really curved out. That's the same curve. Is that the same curve? It you just fell into, into the, the same curve. <laughs> um, so I think the takeaway from that one was that I hit it in the exact same spot twice because I was really good at my aim, I think. I mean, we are testing the flex seal. So technically that would be is, poor, right? eh? No, 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 we're testing the flex seal. Well, we're uh, in the same but spot. if you're testing the flex seal, hasn't really held up. Perhaps. Perhaps. <laughs> Perhaps. 
I stopped on flex seal. Interesting. Yeah, like you stopped on the double kind of flex seal portion. I oh, really, really dug into that, didn't it? It's a nice, nice cut. Very straight as well, by the way. Yay! Good, good, good edge alignment. Yeah, not deep, not as deep, but good edge alignment. Yeah. <laughs> yes, mate, that was good. That was a good one. Good now, job. now we watch Tyrus cut chunks off it. We'll see about that. I just don't want to hit a screw again. And damage my swords when he told me I was so enraged and livid. I was like, how could you do it? It's my friggin' swords! I like katanas more, so I was more heartbroken to be honest. <laughs> yeah, uh, the reality was like, yeah, swords get damaged. You meant to, they're meant to be used. How's that page alignment, boss? It's defeated! The flex seal destroyed! Though, yeah, was that just like brute I cut force? This in half. Oh, look, it's right where I cut. That's not where you cut. Shh. What? <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, that is, that is uh, fair is fair, that was the slash. But look, look at this edge line. Look how it's curving down. Look at, look no, at. Actually, that's, that's his line there. Sorry, oh, oh, you didn't hear. This little tiny one here is Nate's cut. This big giant one is my cut. I don't know what you could call a cut though, because you see how that's splintered here. Flat. Actually, this was flat. And no, no, no. If it, oh, it's forensic, forensic time. If this was, if this was a cut, if this is a cut, right? See how there's an extra bit of wood behind it? That would have been sliced off in line. Which deep. means th that indicates that that, that is actually not, not a cut at all, That's Tyrant. This is a break. It's a snapper. You you snapped it off. Okay, let's look at the real evidence here. <laughs> this here is Nate's little cut. This big chunk came off when I hit it. Let's put, okay. So okay, I okay. get this big okay. one, okay. you get the okay. little one. But that's not a cut, you hit it flat on. We can see from the line across here. Yeah. It's a, it's a blunt, like, so if you want to go depth, maybe. He smashed an arm. That's maybe three, arm three millimeter depth. You sliced it and I just ripped it off. With <laughs> <laughs> a katana. With no katana. I am fine with that. <laughs> that is a good conclusion. Okay, gentlemen, final conclusions. I need to go to the gym, eat harder. <laughs> No, but I, I think the Flex Seal did a good job at holding it together again, mm -hmm. but... Did it live up to the hype? Like, yeah, you know, I mean, could like, it, could okay, it right. withstand the, that's a lot of damage. Let's be clear here. We were hitting it with swords. Flex Seal is made for like roofs and gutters and stuff. So, I mean... <laughs> it's no excuses. <laughs> it, it, no excuses at all. If they're gonna claim durability, needs to hold up to swords or unacceptable. He's just joking. Flex Seal, sponsor us, please. <laughs> okay, so let's let's actually take a look at the back. So it's something we haven't talked about. So Tyrant, after cutting off, well, smashing off. A yeah, large I think I think smashing is probably chunk. Mm. Something that we can see is there was no real Flex Seal here holding it together. It's just the wood that smashed. Mm -hmm. Whereas where I actually did cut in, <laughs> I think they're jealous. I don't know. <laughs> we can see the Flex Seal held together the back end of the. This dining. is true. This is true. So it it certainly reinforces it. Yes, and uh, I'm not sure it does as good a job as rawhide. No. But it, there's definitely reinforcement going on. And if you were a medieval time traveler and you needed a quick repair you a can of and you had a can of Flex Seal, it could do the job. I mean, so all you need then is to invent time travel and you're good. You got it? Yep. It's got it. Yeah. We're still in the testing phase. I mean, it's always scientific <laughs> testing here at Shadowversity. Uh, we saw it with everything. I think it worked. I think it did. Mm -hmm. Relatively speak relatively relatively, <laughs> relatively speaking. I think it, it worked. I think it worked too. Like you can see that it managed to put it back together well enough. Mm -hmm. Like And it did fill in the arrow holes. I don't know if you guys can see if we can get a close up shot, but yes. it actually filled in those arrow holes. Now it did stink. I said that at the start. And even after when I was repairing it, it's you smelt it as well, didn't you? It stinks. Yep. <laughs> yep. That could be another weapon application. Exactly. Oh, mm -hmm. On, on your shield. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get, this, get it into someone's face. Yeah. But uh, look, this video was a heck of a lot of fun testing the meme in real life. Thank you everyone who has joined us. Hope to see you again. And until that time, farewell. Tart, 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 slip on the armor. What is that? Sand. I don't like sand. Yo, you're right, Anakin. Come on, it's sand. I don't want to do anything with sand. Well, you can throw it at me, I'll just hit you with a sword, and just, it's amazing. No sand, Wait, no sand, no what? sand. What? Come on, we can do the meme. What meme? Pocket sand. No, no sand, no sand. But
It's pocket sand! 